Well, what up guys nakamoto crypto here today i got a hidden gem into the karano universe that could potentially turn a little 500 dollars investment all the way up to 150 thousand dollars yes stay tuned like and subscribe let's get right into it so as promised yesterday i told you guys that i was gonna drop a video about another hidden gem yes this is Kono Copias. It is built on the Karano blockchain. It is simply, you know, a play to earn game into the Karano metaverse world where, you know, you can build to earn, you know, play to earn games. Also, learn to earn based games where players can be rewarded with their own land. They can buy lands, properties, NFTs, you name it, everything. And it is gaining traction into the Karano world. This reminds me of literally decentraland you remember decentraland it started way back in 2017 decentraland is like the very first metaverse project on the blockchain period they had their ico back in 2017 with only about i think 2 billion in total supply which is very very low so they literally went from 0 0.007 back in 2017 when they started and fast forward five years later they actually went as high as six dollars five dollars and ninety cents that was last year when uh, decentraland hit its first all-time highs which was absolutely amazing now if you look at cornucopias in karano they have forty thousand followers they were funded by project catalyst you know into karano for those of you who are into karano you know what project catalyst is they literally fund all of these startup uh, crypto companies they received 10 million dollars in fundings and even charles hoskinson this is a video of just him endorsing cornucopias it is composed of 40 people who were just karano enthusiasts karano whales early investors into karano and they just you know came together and they built cornucopias and it is the very first play to earn game into the karano metaverse it looks absolutely amazing check it out if it gives you the good vibes look at this it's only at two cents right now and it only launched last year like the end of last year pretty much i think it had a little run up before they came back down yep it ran all the way up to eight cents uh that was around december of 2021 so you can definitely make some money with this and look at this the maximum supply is only 3.8 billion cornucopias copy tokens they call it the copy tokens so 3.8 billion uh tokens right now there's only about 400 million out there circulating so it is up for grabs if you are getting into these play play to earn games or you like metaverse stuff this could be a good play you know always do your own research also as well before you get into it it is up for grabs right now two cents let's say if you put in for example five hundred dollars uh, divided by two cents you will receive twenty five thousand copy tokens right now and if you sit on them for the next couple of years let's say two years and the price of copy just happened to reach half of what decentraland was which was six dollars if copy hits three dollars you are looking at seventy five thousand dollars that you made from a little five hundred dollar investment if the price of copy overshoots you can just double that and that's an easy one hundred and fifty thousand dollars now they have a lot of things on their roadmap you know from launching on the binance smart chain that they're planning you know marketing themselves with all of these other social media platforms instagram tiktok you name it and 2022 you know that's when they're already launching on all of these Cardano dexes muesli swap um sunday swap and all of that you can clearly see that they uh, just launched on music swap as well so if you want to buy this you can buy it easily from a music swap you just need your nami wallet and then you are good to go so they're mainly based on nfts and land sales guys metaverse are going to be huge you've already seen them they came off late like during the last bull market the narrative always shifted for example the money went from altcoins to like meme coins because of elon and dogecoin and all of that and then it jumped from the meme coins to all of these metaverse tokens metaverse like was towards the end of the year and then you know with facebook and all of that fiasco that was going on people just got interested into metaverse and all of a sudden the money pretty much went from altcoins to meme coins to nfts and then it jumped from nfts into 
the metaverse tokens and metaverse got pretty popular again but it was towards the end of the cryptocurrency bull market so since the market crashed a lot of these metaverse tokens they also crashed with it unfortunately but a rebound is gonna happen definitely it might take a year might take two years it might take three years but the cryptocurrency market always bounces back so look into cornucopias and let me know if you're interested with cornucopias do your own research before you get into any of these metaverse plays the reason why i had to slow down on my altcoin discovery where i just come up with a new project almost every single day talking about these things because crypto is down and when it's down all of these altcoins become really really high risk that's why i haven't been talking about a lot of these projects lately this is not the right time to be getting into any project in my opinion because we are in a cryptocurrency bear market and we are headed into a multi-year cryptocurrency bear market the reason why i'm talking about them now is just to bring you awareness that there are some good plays out there that you can just put in a little bit of money and forget about it lo and behold you might wake up two years later and you find yourself with a hundred thousand dollars or more in your account and you know you'll thank me later as to Cardano, i really like this news right here Cardano's creator charles hoskinson says that because of the terra luna collapse now it has triggered one massive changes in the ada development and how Cardano works this is what i like about ada peer review a scientific research they uh, research anything before they tap into it in terms of the tech so Cardano tech is pretty strong because they look at everybody else's mistakes and just they they won't do it as opposed to you know what um ethereum does which is like a first move advantage you know first one first go first serve thing is like move fast and break things ethereum ethereum's method is like just hey just launch it if there's a bug if there's anything wrong with our project we're gonna work on it we're gonna try and patch it up and fix it whereas cardano they just have peer review researches they just look into something for so long before they can jump into it and you know it has worked so far a lot of people are saying Cardano's lagging behind because of this but at the end of the day it's just for the safety of their investors so Haskinson goes on to say because of Luna depegging they are changing some of their ways before the Vasil hard fork the Vasil hard fork is gonna come out very soon I think on the 29th of June this, this month and it will help Cardano scale a lot better than it was last year if you remember we ran into all kinds of issues concurrency issues you name it you know what happened and they this is just trying to avoid it the other thing that i really applaud here is the fact that you know regulations cardano is actually working with regulators one of the companies one of the cryptocurrency companies out there that are working with regulators to to figure out how they are going to regulate us people in the cryptocurrency space projects in the crypto space Cardano is one of them. They are literally working with regulators and a bill was just passed by Cynthia Loomis and Kristen Gillibrand. So these are two senators that are pro crypto. They like crypto. What they did was they went over to companies like Cardano and that and they asked them, how can we regulate you guys or how or how can we work together before we implement any bill and enforce it against the cryptocurrency space without harming the investors as you all know the way these things work is like regulators when they come they can't just say hey you are not allowed to operate mr cardano you're doing your proof of stake stuff and you have to shut down office so that will wreck investors because everybody will be scared because regulators are coming and there'll be there'll be a massive sell-off the little guys will always lose their money so instead of doing that they are actually sitting down with this crypto with these major blue chip cryptocurrencies the top cryptos on coin market cap are sitting down with regulators and working with them step by step so my take on this is that before they attack DeFi, they are going to regulate the top cryptos first and then they work their way down to DeFi. as hoskinson said here it's going to take about 12 to 24 months before all of this could happen could happen you all know how slow regulators are i mean sec and ripple has been fighting for the last 300 years and it's still an ongoing case so you know how slow these things take they have to be written they have to be passed as bills they have to be votes and all kinds of stuff before the bill is passed pretty much so this was just a short one let us know what do you think about cornucopias do you like it right now it's only 18 18 cents of an ada which is about two cents right now absolutely cheap 
but then again do your own research before you get into any of these projects as again we are into crypto like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out